you, if you're one of those people that says, oh man, it's, it's so hard to make content, like just document. Mm -hmm. Don't focus on content creation, focus on content documentation. And then before you know it, you'll have just a ton of content that you could repurpose for later. If you, if you want to grow or evolve anything, record yourself, document it. Yep. And so you could see how it grows and shifts over time. So when you document yourself, like when you're in intense emotional state, what I do when I'm in intense emotional state, I'll turn on the video and I'll start recording myself and I'll just, eh, like I'll just, mm -hmm. I'll just let it out. I'll scream, I'll, I'll curse, I'll say, fuck this, fuck that, blah, 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 blah. Mm -hmm. so, so you can bleep that out. <laughs> no, <that's laughs> okay, okay, cool. Um, and then when, when I feel like I finished releasing, I'll be like, okay, and then I'll, I'll turn off the camera and then I'll watch it. I'll, you watch yourself in your authenticity. You watch yourself in your pure beingness without any filters, without trying to censor it for other people. Without judgment. Without judgment. And if you could learn how to do that, like that's one of, the, one of the ultimate forms and expressions of learning how to love yourself. And if you do that consistently, like it, it's like you're having an out-of-body experience. That's how I like to describe it. When you watch yourself be yourself on camera, it's you're literally watching you outside of your body being that authentic self and the authentic version of you. It allows you to disconnect from your ego a little bit and just observe yourself and um yeah it, it's a tremendous tool for spiritual growth so i would highly recommend it <laughs> i highly recommend it too yeah. ever since i started documenting myself more and also i learned that tip from you um i know some people have asked you on instagram how to like how to create more content mm -hmm. and your perspective is to document yourself yeah and that in itself is content. Yeah. Yeah. If you want to, if you want to make content, if, you, if you're one of those people that says, oh man, it's, it's so hard to make content, like just document. Mm -hmm. Don't focus on content creation, focus on content documentation. And then before you know it, you'll have just a ton of content that you could repurpose for later. Because right now you may not know the story that you want to tell. You may not know who you are or where you're going. But if you just document it, there's going to come a point in time where you look at the, the, the bigger scope of all of that documentation that you've done. And then you will find the story. You'll see the story there. Mm -hmm. Like I started making vlogs when I was 16 years old, I'm 25 now. So like 15 nine, years. Nine years. Nine years. Nine years. Is that nine years? 11. 16. Like, yes, yeah, 16 to 25. 25. Yeah, that's nine years. Nine years. Okay. Yes. Nine years. That's completion too. Nine's a good number. A yeah. Angel numbers. Yeah, angel <laughs> numbers. But it, like b because I have all that documentation, I can look back at it and see, wow, that's really how far I've come. Mm -hmm. And now I could utilize that story and, and, and share it with the intention to, to open someone else, uh, so, yeah, to open someone else up to a new perspective mm -hmm. or to use it to heal other people too. And to invite, invite others and inspire others to document. Yeah. Cause that's something, um, I unintentionally did. Like I've always loved documenting mm -hmm. and, before, though, my intention was seeking external validation. Mm -hmm. So when I was on Instagram, I would post something for the likes and to, to you know, just have that dopamine rush. Mm -hmm. Now it's more my intention is I'm documenting for myself and for those who resonate with it will be attracted and will come. And um, I just did a reel recently where it's, there is a voiceover that says, I don't chase, I attract. And yeah. that's that's something that is really eye-opening for me on my entrepreneurial journey mm -hmm. um to to chase is is i've learned that scarcity fear mindset and that attraction attraction is that abundance empowered mindset mm -hmm. yeah 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 and um yeah when it comes to documenting it if you feel scared <laughs> to document yourself and look at yourself that in itself is something i invite you to look at yeah and, it's and all the more reason with. why you should do it yeah all the more reason <laughs> I think um, the video um, at one of the shows you're at right now, they have a quote on the wall that says, the thing that you're most scared of is the one that will set, set you, you free. free. Yeah, that the resonated with me. The thing that you're most afraid of is the thing that will set you free. Oftentimes, like, the, th the things that we have the most resistance towards is the, the compass towards our growth. And that's, for me, that's what I'm about. I love growth mindsets. I love... Mm -hmm facing my fears and immediately when resistance comes up, I like to face it immediately um, to the best of my ability. I'm not like the best at it, but I'm, I'm still learning every day. But 
if you feel a fear of being seen, the documentation thing, like Rose said, if you feel that resistance, I would highly encourage and support you to, to try it and then see what happens. Because that's when you learn the most about yourself is when you're uncomfortable. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I there is this one video I posted of me dancing. I was terrified to watch myself. I loved that video. <laughs> you see that though? Like you posted it and I'm like, yeah. I face my fears. <laughs> yeah. And really that's just, I mean, even when you start documenting yourself, if you feel like documenting yourself after listening to this video, there's no rule telling you you have to post it on Instagram. Yeah. Do it for yourself mm-hmm. and see where it takes you. Yeah, Do it in your own private space. Other people don't have to see. But what it does is it increases your relationship to you mm-hmm. your relationship to you oftentimes like other people see us but we don't even see us like majority of the time either the only time we see us is like when we're looking at a mirror or maybe through photos but when you're capturing yourself through a video you could see your facial expressions you could see your like when you're saying something you could tell when you're lying like oh, you, yeah you can't hide from yourself <laughs> that's one of the, the like I get scared still when I record myself and document myself and watch things. I still get scared. Same. Still. But I, st- but I love to look at it because it's like, ah, there, that's where you're fucking up, Paris. <laughs> <laughs> that's where you're, you're hiding. And yeah, maybe other people, they don't need to see that. But yeah, you can't hide from you. You're, you're, you are what I found and discovered over my 25-year lifespan so far <laughs> is that like you can't hide from you and also you are your own greatest source of wisdom. So when you when you look at yourself as if you're an outside perspective, another person, what advice would you give to that person on the screen? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it allows you to to kind of build that type of relationship to yourself too. Yeah, there's, there's a quote that resonates with me all the time. It's like sometimes, well, not sometimes, the medicine we teach is the one that we need the most. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. just allowing yourself to... To take a moment to observe yourself. I love how you mentioned that it's like an out-of-body experience. It's like a physical out-of-body experience. Yeah. <laughs> like watching yourself on a video. Yeah, you're watching yourself in the past, mm-hmm. in the future, mm-hmm. in the present moment when you're watching yourself on a video. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like that's what it is. Yeah. And I mean, really, this is what this is. Like this podcast is a documentation where we are now, where how, how far we've come. Yeah. Who knows where we're going to be in five years, 10 years from now. Doing another yeah. one. <laughs> yeah, but we're going to look at this and be like, wow, remember that? Remember what we were going through at that time there and when you were struggling with this, I was struggling with this, but how, how far did we overcome? How much did we heal? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, if you watch the first episode of Conscious Awakening, um, which I'll put in the show notes, uh, I mean, you can tell that I've definitely grown a lot in terms of speaking. You've definitely grown a lot in terms of speaking. Yeah. And um, I mean, goes for everyone who's who was on that journey with me. That was like the start of my spiritual journey, and we're still going now. It's including business and finances and <laughs> yeah. entrepreneurship. So when I started to shift how I use my words, words are powerful, mm-hmm. and to call it instead of attention deficit disorder, like a dis a disorder that's like something's wrong with us, and calling it attention directed to higher dimensions it was it became more empowering Mm -hmm. yeah that's something that has really shifted my whole uh, experience of adhd